All right, so I'm back on the road again. I've had a nice break over the Christmas and New Year period. Had Christmas down in Invercargill uh, with friends and family. That was really cool. And then I shot up to Christchurch for New Year's with my good friends Christina and Hayden who live there. So I stayed with them. While I was there, I managed to get a bit of stuff done on the bike. So I managed to replace both tires. So my front and rear tire have been replaced. By the time I got to Christchurch, both tires were pretty much unroadworthy. So I definitely had to get that done. The front tire is pretty similar to what I had before. So that's quite aggressive, good for off-road. The rear tire, I've gone with something that's a bit more 50-50, something that can handle the road a bit better, but can also handle some gravel and loose rock. I also got the guys at the tire shop to make a little bracket to go over my exhaust because uh, basically I was having the problem of my guard melting against the exhaust with my side pannier on. My side pannier was weighing it down and when the exhaust got hot it was softening the plastic and it was starting to melt so that bracket is going to hold the panel off the exhaust now and I'm not going to have any problems. I'm feeling uh, a touch tender today after the last couple of days. Basically I went on a two day hike with my mate Hayden uh, so we stayed overnight in the young man's stream hut so we walked up the Ashley River did some river crossings, had to do a bit of incline, so uh, it was a bit more involved than we both thought. Uh, definitely required a bit of physical fitness, so have a few blisters on the feet and the, and the shoulders are a bit sore. Um, but yeah, it was an absolutely incredible spot. And we had the whole hut to ourselves, it was magnificent. Cheers bro. Cheers man. Hui. So today I've left Christchurch and I'm heading out into the back country. So I'm heading further inland, out into the mountains as you can see out there in the background. And basically there are a couple of Lord of the Rings spots out here. So you've got the capital of Rohan, I believe it's called and then you've also got Helm's Deep which is I believe at the base of Black Mountain uh, where they CGI'd a castle into the hill there so Helm's Deep was the castle so unfortunately we won't see the castle because that was computer graphics but hopefully I can see the spot where it was filmed and um, get the drone up and get a couple of shots of that that would be pretty cool so yeah I'm on the way to Helm's Deep I don't know exactly where I can camp tonight uh, since I'll be out in the back country, I'm going to take a chance and see if I can wild camp somewhere. Don't know if it's allowed, but uh, I'm going to have a gamble. Here we are at the first Lord of the Rings destination. Those rocks up there were part of the movie, so I'm gonna go and have a walk up and check it out.
So I've gone as far as I can go up the road in order to see Helm's Deep. It's basically on the other side of the river from where I am at the moment, so you can't actually go right up to it. Um, so I'm going to have to fly the drone across the valley. It is quite a distance, so I don't know exactly if the drone's going to be able to get there or not. I believe I managed to get the drone out to Helm's Deep as close as I could anyway uh, without the drone battery going dead because by the time I got it back it was only on about 15% battery so I was cutting it a bit fine. I'm just on the way to find a campsite. I'm not sure if I can actually camp around here because it's Department of Conservation land here and then over here it's private land from what I understand but I'm still not 100% sure. Uh, but I did, I did come across a little spot that was just tucked off the side of the road place where I can wrap my bike around the side of a little hill and it'll be out of sight, out of mind. So yeah, I think that should be okay really. I mean, it's just using some common sense. If no one can see me, then uh, I don't really see what the problem is. I'm not going to leave a mess. So see if I can find it again and then uh, yeah, hopefully should be able to pitch up there for the night. So I think the little spot I saw was around here. So I'm just going to take the bike up here. Ah, oh, that's it there. So basically if I perch myself down there, um, out of the side of the main road, and yeah, should be all right. Let's uh, park up and see if we can find a place to pop the tent up. I've actually just spotted a slightly better area, which is more off the road. Um, and I was gonna camp on this spot, but it looks like vehicles every now and then come through here and turn around probably farm vehicle so I'd rather not get in the way of that just in case but if I come down here there's a little track down here uh, just off to the left I can just sort of tuck myself just in behind these hedges here so oh back brake locked up a bit there <laughs> uh, yeah if I just sit myself down in there, in there um, yeah I can't see that being a problem Alrighty, so I've got camp all set up now. I'm pretty much out of the view of the road, although you can probably still just see me, but I think it should be okay. I think my biggest threat is a cow coming and sitting in my tent, potentially. It has started to rain a little bit, it was forecast too, so I just got the tent set up in time, luckily. But I'll make a little bit of dinner now, and then, yeah, just relax for the evening. So it's nearly 7 in the morning, I've just had breakfast and finished up my first night of wild camping which was, uh, which was pretty cool. Didn't annoy any farmers so, well just yet anyway. So I'd consider that a success. I'm just heading down to the river which is right next to where I'm staying and I'm just going to rinse off my pan and my cutlery. Oh, fortunately you've got to go through a bit of a little sheep trail of bush here. Oh jeez. Ow, god those things are spiky. Yeah I'm just going to wash my stuff off and then I'm going to head further south. I'm going to get some reception and then I'm going to make a bit more of a plan as to what I'm going to do and see today and tonight. Jeez, there is a lot of crap on this road. Looks like we might have the sheep roundup going on up here. Might have to wait for a little bit. Classic New Zealand site here. Morning mate. Good good. Just go through. Straight chairs, man. That is a lot of sheep. <laughs> I feel like 
Moses is parting the water, but it's cheap instead. There we go. Sweet as, so I'm heading out to Lake Tekapo now. I'm going to head up the Lilybank Road, which heads up the east side of the lake. It's an off-road route. Um, I was quite keen to camp the night out there tonight, but the weather looks like it's going to turn to crap, so I'll probably just go out there for a little look, and then I will see how the rest of the afternoon goes and make a plan from there. Okay, so I'm just pulling up and take a now, and that is Lilybank Road, so that's where I've got to head down. Uh, kind of cutting the corner there, whoopsie. So I believe if I follow this road for a bit, it should eventually turn into a gravel road, and then we'll be back in the off-road territory again, so let's see what it's like. Woo, what a view! just reached the Macaulay River um, from here on out it's actually an advanced off-road track so I'm not going to go up it um, basically because it's uh, pretty involved from here and uh, yeah really you want to have a buddy with you and more petrol and stuff like that but yeah I'll just have a quick little look I'll go through the gate and see how it is down on the other side but yeah as you can see here on my offline map from here on out you can go all across these rivers here and then you can go way up into the mountains of the valley that's over there. River crossings straight away. Here where it's slightly shallower. Definitely feels pretty wild and remote out here, that's for sure. Definitely uh, starts to get a bit deeper. You can definitely understand why uh, you need to be careful of the water levels here because if you catch some overnight rain, uh, these things will flow up and get high pretty fast. playground out here. Pretty happy with how these new tyres that I've got handled. They, uh, oh, maybe not at that time, but they uh, handle the loose rock pretty well. Just like that. Look at these guys coming up. Got some pretty sweet rigs. Man, I'd love to have a go on one of those. Oh man, I really enjoyed that. That was, uh, that was so much fun. Really good to have a good play around on the loose surface like that and the uh, deeper water crossings. Uh, it was really good practice and yeah, just fun to have a, uh, have a blast on the old DR. I'm going to head back towards Tekapo now and then make a bit of a plan for this afternoon once I've got some reception.